Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy. All right, this full body workout is gonna be a bit of a different format today. We're gonna to start with a nice hearty cardio warm up. All right, the format for that will be 40 seconds of work, only 10 seconds in between with a no repeat. So we'll get the body nice and warm, ready to lift. And then we'll move into the format 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. We'll hit the strength exercises then for three rounds. Okay, well, it'll be multiple different exercises targeting the whole body. And then we're gonna finish off with a little ab sequence. Again, back to that 40 seconds of work, 10 seconds in between. So a few different formats here today, but we'll be sure to hit the entire body. Grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout. That's all you'll need. I'll use the floor as well. All right, so have a good yoga mat, your water, and we'll get started with the warm up, and we'll end with a cool down. All right, are you ready to move daily? Me too, let's do it. Okay, maybe, hmm, maybe intervals on the watch, maybe strength. You do what works for you. Let's start with some front and back bends here. Yeah, nice little cardio warm up. I'm gonna like that because it's really cold in here today. <laughs> Winter is upon us over in Kelowna, British Columbia. So, I don't know if it's winter where you are at. I'm envious of all of our Australian and New Zealand and those down under. <laughs> right now I see them posting pictures of sun and heat and lovely outdoor photos, which ours are pretty too, but they're just white. <laughs> right? Oh well. All right, so let's go into a squat front retreat here. It's pretty too. I do love snowshoeing and hiking in the winter. Um, skiing and everything, but I'm a summer, warmer season person. I love just heading outside without having to bundle up first, you know? One more here. Let's take it wide. Open in the chest. Side lunge. Try to bring that shoulder down toward the opposite knee. Nice one here. Good. Let's touch our toes. Opposite hand to foot. Circles. Switch direction. Good. Let's just do some static front kicks here. More here and switch. And lost right there. Very good. All right, finish here. Okay, so we'll start with the cardio. Again, 40 and 10, no repeat. Let's warm things up. We're gonna warm things up with a lateral shuffle. You can drop into this low shuffle position if you want low impact. All right, side to side.
into that split split squat. Tap, tap, squat for low impact. You're here if you don't need the rest. And drop. Front to back kick, two front, two back. I'm gonna do a hop in between. Let's work. Okay, traveling high knee, four knees up, four knees back. You can stay stationary if you don't want to travel. Four, three, two, one, back four. Center jack, side squat. Here's your low impact. And jack, and squat. Single punch with a butt kick here. That's low impact. Heart rate's climbing. In and out squat jump. Little squats in and wide for low impact. Drop it low. Land light.
traveling scissor side to side. You can just tap back for low impact. Arms are here and we shuffle. You could stay in one spot if you wish. gonna do a low high kick low high same side until I call half hands are here one two one two one more on this side and switch low high Very nice basketballers. It's a low shuffle. Squat and shoot for low impact. Take it down. Shoot and land light. Cross in front, Jack. This is your low impact. Tap in front. Otherwise, jump it here. In and out fast feet to finish our cardio. As fast or as slow as you, as you can. Very nice. Okay, catch your breath. There's our first circuit coming up. We're gonna hit it for three rounds. So make sure you're ready to go. Of course, you can pause the video if you need a little longer to break. Otherwise, let's get busy. Let's start off with lower body. I'm gonna grab my 15 pound dumbbells. We're going into a deadlift, alternating front lunge. Right, hinge at the waist, like you're a full hinge, back is flat. Here we go, so you're down. And we stand and lunge, back to your deadlift. And then other side, lunge. Good.
I'll take my 12s to the ground for my crush grip overhead tricep extension. So dumbbells are touching each other or very close. We'll press to the ceiling and then back for that tricep. Start at the chest, press it up, take it back and watch your skull, up and down. Good. Of course, you could separate these if you wish. Okay, you don't have to hold them together if that's just easier and it allows you to avoid your skull. The crush grip is nice though. It really forces that pec to flex and activate and a little bit more action on the triceps too. Okay, up to standing. We're gonna go into that three pulse squat. I'm gonna hold 15s on my shoulders, three pulses at the bottom, push up through the heels. So you're one, two, three, and drive. Good. Very nice. Into your skull crusher, I'll hold my 20. And I might take a break halfway through. Elbows close to the ears. Knees are soft. We press and flex. Good. Back to the top now with your deadlift alternating lunge, front lunge. I'll hold 15s. And we hinge at the waist. Knees are soft. And we hinge. Stand and lunge. Back to the hinge. And other side lunge. I want you to stay super tall on that lunge. All right, up. Chest is up and out. Into your crush grip, tricep press, I'll stick with 12s. All right, dumbbells touching, if they're hex, press to the ceiling. Up, triceps, up and down.
come to standing for your three pulse squat, which I'll stick with the 15s. <clears throat> Up on the shoulders, feet are shoulder width apart and you're thinking of pressing those feet away from each other. So you're three, two, one, back is tall. Skull Crusher. I'll stick with the 20. Seated or standing. Rest if you need. Oh, that was hardy. <laughs> okay. Back to the top. that deadlift and lunge. the crush grip on the ground. Ooh, triceps are feeling a pump after that skull crusher and this one together. It's good. Here we go. Let's come to standing for the glutes in our pulse squat. The pulse adds so much extra tension. I'll stick with 15s. Let's work.
into your skull crusher here. Then we'll switch our circuit. All right, hold the 20. And you're ready. I'm taking a little break. Triceps are fried. Popping in when I'm ready. Okay. Very good. Quick water break. Take a look at the next strength circuit. All right, little back, little biceps, little shoulders coming up. Let's start with our single, single, double uh, bent over row, okay? Bent over row, holding 15s. You're gonna hinge at the waist, keep your back super flat, roll those shoulders back and retract your shoulder blades. So we're single, other side single, now double here. Pull and squeeze. Good. If you need a little back break halfway through, feel free to stand. Okay. You could alternatively just do a one arm row on a bench where you're supporting your body weight as well with the other hand. This hurts your back. I'll hold my 12s for my bicep curl iso hold. So one arm's doing an isometric hold, the other arm's curling. I'll call halfway and we'll switch. 12 pound dumbbells, stick your chest out. And we curl here. Full range of motion, all the way up, all the way down here. That other arm is just holding at 90 degrees on the elbow. Switching sides. Whew. Not soon enough. Into a little um, shoulder. We're going to do a Lateral high front raise, so I'll hold five pounds to start here. Stick so your chest out, and knees are soft. So you're here, up high in that salute position, then down in the front. And then into your single double military press. Okay, shake those arms out. Holy, arms are feeling that. I think I'll grab my tens, single, single, then double. You're here. Knees are soft, other side. Now together and press. You could sit for this if you wish. <clears throat> lighter because constant tension we're not resting at all it's a lot of work here
Oh, wow, that was a lot of tension with the tens. Somehow I thought that would be easier. Back to your rows, holding 15s, single, single, double. Core engaged, and we hinge. Single, other side, double here. Into that bicep curl. I'll stay with 12s. Iso hold. The other side is full range. You're here. Elbows close to your body. Switch. Oh, good. Into your butt, uh, shoulders. Wow, swing those arms out for a second. I'm gonna stick with fives. Lateral, high front combo. Chest is up and out. Here, up to fight gravity and down nice and slow. Good, into my single double military. I think I'll stick with the tens, but those were hard for me. Ready? And we work, single. Other side, double. You can stagger your stance here to protect that lower back a bit if you'd like. Sometimes I like to do that. Don't look up. Neck is neutral. Oh, wow. Wowza magowza. Okay, back to the top. Just swing those out. Let's hit uh, those rows. Round three. No shrugging here.
nice biceps. is holding and we curl. Last one here, switching sides. It's hard. Very nice. Whew. Let's go into the lateral front combo. Fives I'm sticking with. Should lift more, but oh, here we go. Last shoulder here. Are you gonna do tens? Zoics, am I? I suppose. Let's try it. We can always pause if we need. Always feel strong at first. Okay, we did that, Whew, good. All right, take a little water rest, and then abs is coming up. Our format's jumping back to that 40 seconds of work, 10 seconds in between. All right, we're gonna start down on the ground, so join me down there. We're starting with a power raise. I've got my five pound dumbbell. You can mod this from the knees. You can do it with a light weight or no weight. We're a full 40 aside here. All right, slow, slow, and raise. So as you see, we're slightly sticking with some of that strength for rear delts here, but of course, uh, targeting core, muscles, obliques, and yes, all of those good stabilizer muscles. Uh, remember, you could modify this as well by bringing that leg here to help support the elbow. All right, if you don't need it, don't use it. It's a, it's a hearty little exercise, isn't it? Nice and slow in the down, and then up we go. Very nice. Flip it, kick it, reverse it. <laughs> okay. Up and plank, and we're slow. Two, three, and up. Almost there. Come on, one more here. Three, two. Oh, wow. 
That was hard. Butterfly sit up, I'm gonna hold this five. Feet are together, knees are open. Um, you could crunch if you don't wanna do that full sit up. Otherwise, up, little press right there. weight down, we're gonna do a V-sit pulse. So legs are off the ground. You could bicycle if that hurts your tailbone. You're here. All right, nice pulse. Um, my son, who is now editing for us, <laughs> sent a clip of this to my daughter saying, what the heck is she doing? <laughs> so do your kids mock you at all? Yeah, I know. Um, I'm like, try it, child, because you can't do it. Dimes to donuts, I could outlast you in this. He's like, yeah, you could, I suck at abs. <laughs> Can I last? It's only nine seconds, let's go. Whew, that's hard. Work, work. Flip it over for a plank here. And relax, good. Okay, let's do that dumbbell drag. So you're from plank position, you can take it from the knees. We're gonna drag the dumbbell across. Otherwise, up from the toes and drag. into a lying oblique crunch. So legs fall to one side, hands behind the head, and we're pulling up our chest to the ceiling. So you're here, crunch. All right, up to the ceiling, I'll call half. And you can support your head with your hands, but don't pull the neck. All right, flip the legs over and crunch. backs and into that scissor all right hands under your bottom if you wish and we're traveling the scissor up and down so start high travel low go low up back high that's it you could keep it all low if you wish to push the small of your back into the ground little reprieve when you come back up. Whew, hug those knees. All right, a little turtle crunch, feet are on the ground. We're reaching up, tapping the ankle. Hands here if you need, and we tap. Palms face the ceiling, reach, reach. seconds then we'll flip over for that hand and toe plank tap out Ooh. three two one 
Flip it over. Good, okay. Plank position from hands and toes, alternating hand and toe tap. So we tap out and switch. Flipping over for your dead bug. Opposite hand and leg are reaching and tapping. All right, push the back into the ground. And we reach and tap, switching sides. Slow and controlled here. Good. If you can only do the hands or the legs, you can pick one or the other. and hug the legs. One last exercise. Let's come up into that Russian twist. I'm gonna hold my five. Feet off the ground if you wish. So we reach and reach. Okay, if your feet are on the ground and you don't have a dumbbell, just reach that elbow nice and low to the ground behind you. Keep it close to the body. Crunching obliques there. Oh, Nelly. I can't do the legs. Last 15 seconds. Let's go. Stay with me. You're almost there. In three, two, one and done. You move daily in your cardio starter, full body strength, half finisher workout. Thanks for joining. Join down here for a stretch if you can. Nice job, everyone. Let's go right into that child's pose. Knees are a little bit open. Push your chest to the ground. Drop the head there. Oh, good. I know a lot of you like that sort of full body circuit where you're doing a little cardio. Let's reach the arm under here. You're hitting abs. I think that was almost 10 minutes of abs, so that was good. Oh, I sure felt that at the end. <laughs> Let's get hard. Switch sides but it's nice to have everything sort of in there and done. Did we hit everything? I think we did. Calves, we didn't really hit. I guess I could have done those, but everything else got an exercise or so, so that was good. Let's round through the back here. Yeah, when you're training, I always think from my tip to the tail sort of thing, what major muscle groups need to be targeted and you know, the ones that are, the, the larger ones, I like to hit multiple times in a week. Some of the smaller ones, maybe like the glute minimus or the pectoral minor, I might try to target once a week, right? But, or if I have an area where I would really want to enhance muscle size uh, or just get the ligaments and joints and everything stronger in that area, then I'll definitely put it on repeat a few times a week as well. Let's just go into a little glute stretch here. Uh, bring that leg in. Uh, yeah, so a workout like this, I mean, you could do this two to three times a week, split up with a day in between, right? And in between you could do something like yoga, Pilates, uh, you could focus on something really specific, like if you really wanted to target arms a little bit more, because really we only did one exercise for biceps, one for triceps, and then two for shoulders, right? But you could, you could enhance that. You could do a longer cardio session or maybe like a zone two cardio in between. So this could be a great little addition to your, you know, holiday plan if you wanted to just come in and get everything one and done type of thing. But, um... How I like to train, of course, is to do a workout like this maybe once a week and then go into that isolated strength training on specific muscle groups. 
multiple times a week so I get more volume on each muscle group because that is the driver of hypertrophy or increase in muscle size. And while I'm not trying to necessarily um, make my muscles larger right now, I am trying to not lose. I'm trying for maintenance. And I know that ensuring that all of the muscle groups get some attention and love throughout the week is gonna be really important for that. So that's why I train like this. Of course, in our membership, we really, we have a strength stream that really isolates the muscle groups down into specifics, right? So you're getting pretty, you're, you're getting a lot of volume on the necessary muscles throughout a given week if you follow that track. Anyway, good way to train. Hey, are you looking forward to the holiday season? I hope you are. Uh, I am, I'm taking a little bit of a break at the beginning of December, just a little f six days with my sisters and mom. Uh, so I really am looking forward to that. I feel like I just have been go, go, go since the last time I took a break. <laughs> it's hard when you're an entrepreneur. It feels like your days are 14 hours and it's like nonstop. And it's good. You don't want to stop because the more you work, you know, the bigger things get and the more money you make. And it's just, it's, that's how you do it as an entrepreneur, right? No one's gonna do it for you. So it's kind of up to you. And I have a lot of energy for that until I don't, until I need to have a break. And the time is nigh. So I'm gonna take a little one week. Of course, you won't miss a beat because I've worked ahead. So we'll be uh, sharing videos uh, throughout the holiday season. So be sure to follow us. Uh, don't forget to be subscribed and I'll see you in the next workout.